Hey y'all, it's Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm and we're a little worried about Joe. Something serious might be wrong with him and unfortunately we gotta load him up and take him to the vet today. Fingers crossed it's not bad. All right guys, um, we got some little concerning news with our Nubian buck goat. Uh, Joe, our oldest buck. We noticed this weekend that he has an enlarged udder. And yes, male goats do have udders, but typically they're small. They're not big like a female goat. But we noticed that Joe has an enlarged udder and we've never seen this before. Um, we did, of course, we did some research about it and let's see if you guys can see it see it right there see how large it is um we did some research about it and it could be a hormonal thing because of the baby goat and capri sun and capri and his hormones are kind of messed up and you actually they actually can produce milk believe it or not um it could be mastitis or it could be worse than those two things and it could be cancer. So we contacted the vet over the weekend and they told us to bring him in first thing Monday, which is today. And so that is our plans with Big Joe is to take him to the vet and hopefully y'all, hopefully, it's nothing serious and that he can be treated and everything's fine. Um, if it is cancer, I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if if we have to take him to Auburn, the vet school, and they remove his udder. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, we've never seen this before. The vet actually was... Um, It's rare, put it that way. It's rare to see a male goat or a buck to have an enlarged udder. But we're not gonna fear the worst yet because we don't know what it is. Um, you know, best case scenario, it's like a false pregnancy per se, or his hormones are messed up and that udder's producing milk. Next best case scenario is mastitis, which can be treated. Worst case scenario is cancer. So we'll find out today. Uh, we haven't, we fed everybody, but we didn't feed the goats. Our plan is to load Joe up into the horse trailer and take him over to the vet. We just hope we have a good day. And I really don't know if we're gonna get an answer back today either. So I don't know yet. There's a lot of unknowns right now for us. But Jojo, hey buddy, we're gonna do whatever it takes to get you right, buddy. You hear me? All right, my man. Get that right nugget. So we gotta load the trailer up and uh, I'm gonna go change shirts because I don't wanna smell like a buck when I get back. That way Brooke can wash them and uh, see if we can get the trailer loaded up and head on over to the vet with Mr. Joe. <laughs> Try to get it as close as we can, then maybe open the slide door. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Since everybody's in the back, I'm going to try and see if I can just get Joe separated and get him come to this front pasture and close that back pasture off. Don't know if that's going to be possible. But we're going to try it. Main thing is, is we want to keep Moody back there for sure. We don't want Moody up here. And us trying to have to wrestle with Moody. Here comes Joe. Here comes Moody too, though. All right, let's see if I can get these guys in. Moody's in the back, though. 
I'm not worried about the three goats. That's what we want right there. If I can't get just Joe, that's fine. Come on, guys. Now. Y'all can go on back on the other side. I don't think we have time for all of that, though. Here he comes. Not that he's... Not that he's gonna do anything, but it's just easier without him. Yeah, I didn't want him trying to load up in the trailer or get out. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than the last time we loaded him. He was about mo size then. <laughs> All right, bingo. Good. All right, Big Joe. We're gonna try to get you loaded up, my man. <laughs> Look at Mo done got bigger in the top. Ain't that something? Yeah, I showed him earlier. But y'all can see his udder right there. So, fingers crossed, it's nothing that can't be treated. He doesn't act like he feels bad. No, he acts like he feels perfectly fine. Nothing wrong. I don't know. So, I'm going to park the side by side right there. That way, he can't come this way. Just to be safe. Hey, Sheriff, I really would like for you to direct some traffic now when we get this thing going, okay? Crowd control, you know what I mean? All right. There we go. So what I'm thinking is, you open the door and you keep this bowl of feed that's normally most feed. Okay. And I go back there and try to feed them. Okay. Get Joe in the trailer. Okay. You think that'll work? If, I mean, worst case scenario, they all go in the trailer and we just set, sort them out then. I think if anybody is home. Yeah. I think I may even open up this one too. All right. Wish us luck. Success. Success. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. They can know exactly how old he is. So you're going to go grab his papers. Yeah, because he's a registered Nubian. Yeah. It's got his exact birth date. Okay. And I think he's around nine. Okay. I'm going to go get the papers Double check. just to be sure. I think he's like seven, but anyways, regardless. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> no, I don't want to bet. <laughs> right okay. Well, y'all, that went about as smooth as we could ask for. Really, that that I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. Now, Brooke's gonna go get his papers. Then we're gonna head over to the vet. And y'all, fingers crossed, toes crossed, that Big Joe's okay. I will say this: we did contact our local vet first um we our initial plans was to go on and take him to auburn which is the big vet school here in the state of alabama and which is two two and a half hour drive for us but she said that she could absolutely do whatever they could do on testing him and seeing what the issue is and there was no need for us to take him to auburn yet so thank goodness that she was she's able to do this and um Let's get old big boy over there. 
So, me and you are both way off. Um, he's almost five. He's almost five. I had in my mind he was born in 2013, which would make him almost 10. Yeah. Well, I thought that he was about two years old when we got him. He wasn't. And we've had him for almost four years, and so that made him six or seven. That was my thinking. But he wasn't that old when we got him. I just thought he was born in 2013. I don't know why I had that in my mind. Yeah, me either. And that wouldn't have made him eight either. Hmm. All right. Never well, know. never know. Well, you know how I am about dates. Well, I'm usually pretty good, but I was way off on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long ways and go in the front door and okay. turn north. We're around back. Gotcha. Maybe I can even back up in the shade. It'd be great, wouldn't it? It would be good. Yeah, it looks like the trailer's in the shade. Good. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, here comes Brooke. All right, so she's going to be out in just a minute. Okay. Good deal. All right, here she comes. Okay. And he does not have a split scrotum. Okay. So um, you do have to watch. He can get mastitis just like a doe now. Okay. Um, but yeah, so he's just genetically superior. So wow. like if you if you get his lymph nodes. Normal. Normal. Invade your space. Yeah. So normal lymph nodes, good body weight, good coat. He's gonna be heavy, heavy milking lines. But now if you mess with his bag, um, treat him just like a doe, clean it off, you know, okay. all the same things. And, you know, check him for mastitis just like anybody else. Okay. So. Could we just let him dry up? Mm -hmm. Could we just let him dry up like a doe? They won't. They won't. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this is a precocious udder. Which you've never seen in a male. Not in a male. You have, okay, yes, I okay, have. okay. But I was, I was hoping you weren't gonna bring me something with like CL. Okay, yeah. That's what I was hoping. Well, we got great news, of course, um, but crazy news on top of that. So, in layman's term, in a nutshell. Joe is producing milk. His udder is full of milk and he's producing milk because according to her, he has a superior milk gene and that- His genetics are just phenomenal. Great milk and bloodlines. So he just needs to be treated like a doe that's in milk. Um, she told me, I don't know if you heard this or not, but she told me that he could stay in milk forever. Yes. That because it doesn't dry up. What it is is a precocious udder, uh -huh. which is the same condition that Fifi has. Yeah, yeah. And that is just a indicator that there are phenomenal milk lines. It's something that's desired to have. Yeah. And she said it's an exceptional quality. So lo and behold, we were approaching this as being a potential situation that may be harmful. <sighs> Yeah, because it happened pretty quick. It did. Um, I was thinking, you know, of course, I always think the worst. And I usually do that. That's just how I am. Uh, so I was thinking the worst. Uh, I was hoping mastitis, but we do have to check him for mastitis occasionally, just like we would do our females, because he is a milking goat, even though he's a buck. <laughs> That sounds so crazy. It does. But he is a 100% milking goat. And she said that while she's never tasted the milk of a buck, yeah. she has been told that it's some of the best milk that you can drink. You know, that's hard for me to believe for this reason. And I'm not saying that, that these people are not being truthful about it, but you don't keep your dough close to your buck because the milk could taste like a buck. <laughs> Hey, y'all know what's coming up, don't you? What's coming, what's coming up? A blind taste test. 
Joe's milk versus Capri's milk. Oh my gracious. Hey. <laughs> we gotta get that milking room ready. We got a bucking milk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, at least it's us. We know it, but if our friends saw us milking our book, they would have some questions. <laughs> yes, most definitely. There's some people out there that probably already think we're a little off our rocker, and this just proves it. Oh my gosh. Oh me. Well, great news. It looks like Joe is perfectly okay and is going to be okay. So we're good there. But you know what, Jason? What's that? When when he's appetite was good yeah he was still courting nugget yeah he's still acting a hundred percent like he feels oh yeah like he feels Joe. fine yeah i had a feeling that he was okay that he was gonna be okay he does feel fine i mean he feels fine and she checked him all over she checked his lymph nodes she checked uh she did all kinds of stuff and he's and perfectly she, healthy she is the most she was awesome Full of information, yeah. detailed, where I could follow it, Beth, I've ever talked she, to. She was really awesome, and we just recently found her. As y'all know, Dr. D is out of, out of the country, so... I met her at the feed met store. Met her at the feed store. Um, so, this is just awesome, and she does have a portable vet. I, so, I mean, we could... Mobile vet clinic. If we got in trouble, um, we now have another option, too, so this is awesome. Dr. Absolutely. Courtney. Dr. Courtney. Dr. Courtney, you rock. That's right. <laughs> All right, now we got to get home and try to get Joe in the fence. That's right. Without letting the other ones out. Well, if we do, we do. I'm, I'm happy about the situation. Me too. So I can turn <laughs> anything into a positive after this. Amen to that. Guys, y'all ain't going to believe this one. <laughs> you ain't going to believe it at all. It's okay, babies. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right. I gotta go let Moody out. Hey, Topper, listen, I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna see you, you know, nursing on Joe now. <laughs> that would be a little awkward, you hear me? Yeah. Moody! I'm opening up the gate, Moody. Moody's in the shade. Y'all seen down there in his, in his shelter under the shade? We gonna open the gate up, brother. The good thing Moody is, is Joe is okay. Nothing wrong with him. And Joe's producing milk. Now, believe it or not, he's producing milk. Now I need to go take me a bath in vinegar or something. Whew, man. I mean, I smell like a book. It is all over me. I'm glad I changed my shirt. I can tell you that. Whew. Brooke may kick me out of the house. <laughs> Jojo. Jojo, I can't, I can't tell you how happy we are that you're okay, buddy. Yeah. And I know Nugget's happy too. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. The Joe man is good. Capri, we got awesome news about Joe and your daddy, Paris. Yeah, awesome news, guys. Listen, Joe is okay. According to the vet, Joe is okay. Yes, he is producing milk, which is a little odd. I know, I know it's a little odd, 
But that makes Joe special. Yeah, Joe is a special book. Ain't that right, Fifi? He is. So, no more worrying about Big Joe, okay? I still hadn't taken a uh, shower or bath yet. So wonder y'all ain't over here, you know, swooning me. Cause I smell like y'all's boyfriend or husband, Big Joe. I smell like him a lot. <laughs> oh me. All right, ladies, y'all have a wonderful day. All right, is it safe for me to come inside? Nope. <laughs> I don't smell that bad, do I? I'll let you in, but I'm gonna squirt you <laughs> off first. Okay? Oh, oh me. Well, it's, all right, I'll you let you do it. Or not. <laughs> I'll go straight to the shower. How about that? No. <laughs> Arlo, did you hear that mess? Arlo says I smell good. I don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing. It's gonna be alright